What is usually an exciting, peaceful transfer of power will look a lot different tomorrow. Yeah, Fox 46 chief political correspondent Emma Withrow took a deep dive into the traditions that normally ensue and explained which traditions won't make it to the White House this time around. President Trump is the fourth president in our history to not attend the inauguration of his successor, but he isn't the only one in his administration who isn't quite following the usual protocol. It's been reported that the First Lady will not be giving President-elect Joe Biden's wife, Dr. Jill Biden, a tour of the White House living quarters. This so-called tea and tour is a tradition that's gone on through each administration's transfer of power since 1952. First ladies have done it. Uh, I think since Mamie Eisenhower, and they haven't been, you know, warm and fuzzy. Some have been very chilly. So there was a, a you know, if it hadn't been for Donald Trump, Melania may have done one. It would have been chilly to say the least, but it would have been done. But the executive director of the White House Transition Project, also a graduate of UNC Chapel Hill, says there are still some traditions that must occur despite political tensions. Somewhere in Washington are um, 36 uh, semi trucks parked waiting 19 to take out the president's um, residential stuff and 19 to bring in the new administration's stuff. A previous White House chef who served the Bush administration and Obama administration says there are circumstances that come with the transfer of power that are unique to each administration, which can cause a disruption in the traditions. I think the important thing to remember is Joe lived and worked in the White House for eight years, so. You know, he's he's actually um, probably could care less if someone's there to show him around or not. Mangiello said this is not the first time a sitting president's refused to attend their successor's inauguration. Although it is uncommon, it actually dates all the way back to 1801 when John Adams refused to attend Thomas Jefferson's inauguration. And while a peaceful transfer of power is what we as Americans hope for, history shows that it isn't always guaranteed. But despite some traditions of the White House being thrown out, President-elect Joe Biden and his wife will still be moving into the presidential living quarters tomorrow afternoon. In the newsroom, Emma Withrow, Fox 46 News.